Hello, Herman here with another video in the ClearPass workshop series where we will build a ClearPass deployment from scratch and integrate with wired wireless Active Directory and much more. So in the last video, we configured uh, the Mac authentication in the video before we configured 802.1x authentication together with ClearPass. So we can see in our access tracker that we have a successful Mac authentication, which uh, is on port number three and uh, puts the client in VLAN 14. And uh, we have an 802.1x authentication uh, for the admin user that puts the client in the management VLAN. What I didn't show you is on the switch, if you use the commando show port access clients, you can see uh, similar things. So on the switch, you can see that on port number two, we have the Aruba lab client uh, authenticated with 802.1x in its place in VLAN number 10 and uh, the Mac authentication was in VLAN number 14. So I already told you that the device with this MAC address, it is an IP phone. And what we created was a policy here that, um, let me show you. So there was a policy here that uh, should put VoIP phones into the voice VLAN. So why didn't it put it in the voice VLAN? Uh, that's because here in the endpoint, you can see that the device was not profiled. So in ClearPass, a very convenient way of profiling is by DHCP. So if you simply put an uh, IP helper to the ClearPass appliance, uh, the ClearPass appliance will never answer, but it will get the DHCP uh, request. From the DHCP request, it can do a pretty accurate uh, determination what kind of device is uh, on the network. So Let's configure that. So uh, we'll take these commands that will put an IP helper to our ClearPass uh, virtual IP on uh, the five VLANs on my switch. So let's go into configuration mode and put it in. And um, now the when I restart my phone, let's unplug it, plug it in again. We will see that it should be um, it should be authenticated uh, right now in uh, the correct way. So we see the device has been authenticated. It's still in VLAN 14, but now if we look in the device, we can see that it is, has been profiled as an uh, as an IP phone, so a VoIP phone. And uh, yeah, what now happens? Um, when I uh, disconnect this client and I can do that from here. So I can do change status, which will allows me, allow me to do a, a terminate session and, uh, or, or, or port bounce, um, which will then trigger a new authentication. So um, let's see if there is a new authentication for the device. So you can see uh, that it now has been uh, placed into the VLAN number 12, the voice VLAN. So automatically, because of the logic that we created, that voice phones should be placed automatically in the voice VLAN. Um, yeah, that's, uh, you can see that it happens. Although I had to manually uh, put, this, uh, put this client into the voice VLAN and that's uh, not really useful in a large deployment. So what we can do is we can go back here in our service, our Mac authentication service and here under service, we have a lot of options. So what we can do is uh, use the option profile endpoints here, which will uh, make an other tab here appear. And what we can do here is uh, we can, um, um, if any new endpoint classification comes in. So for example, if device comes, uh, goes from unknown to a uh, VoIP phone, we can here um, do a, um, yeah, an HPE uh, bounce port. So then it will bounce the network port um, and the switch will uh, should automatically uh, reboot and uh, restart uh, from scratch. And in order to test it, I have an other IP phone. So brand new one, let's plug that in. So the other phone is uh, booting up now and um, this one has not never been seen by the ClearPass. So uh, yeah, consider it as a new phone on the network. So you can see 
It is placed now into the uh, VLAN number 14, uh, which will allow profiling to happen. And uh, if we look back, we can also see now that there is a radius COA. So the phone um, has been automatically bounced by the ClearPass policy manager. We can see that in the initial one. And um, if everything is okay, we can see now that uh, without us uh, triggering something uh, manually, we can see that the phone uh, now is placed into the voice VLAN. And if we go back to the switch, we should see now that it is indeed placed into the uh, VLAN number uh, number 12. So that's good. You can also see that it's trying to do uh, 802.1x, which uh, doesn't, uh, doesn't really work. So another thing that um, is happening a lot is that the uh, client, the enterprise client is behind the phone. So we can do that uh, as well. So if I unplug now my client on the uh, switch port number two and I uh, hook it through the IP phone, we can see oh, there's NAS port zero. So that's because it's behind the IP phone. So we can see the client has now authenticated again. And let's see here on the online clients. Now we can see that both the IP phone in VLAN 12 and the client authenticated 8021X in VLAN 10 is uh, available on the same ports. Yes, you see this clear. We can have on the same port uh, two different clients and in different uh, VLANs. So it doesn't need uh, to, have to be in uh, tagged voice VLAN anymore. Uh, we can just do that on the same port all automatically um, with ClearPass and the Aruba OS switches. So thank you for watching. This was the profiling video. In this video, we uh, enabled profiling on ClearPass. We were able to put in voice phone uh, being detected automatically. And if it has been detected the first time, it's automatically uh, port bounced, which will uh, trigger uh, that the phone comes back in the correct VLAN, VLAN number 12 for uh, the voice traffic. So I hope you like this video. Um, if so, please leave your comments below this video and subscribe to the channel because there will be more videos in this workshop series uh, coming soon. So thanks for watching and hope to see you again in the next video.